Hello, how's it going? It's been a little while, um, it's been another couple of weeks since my last video, but I'm still here, it's just the summer holidays are in full swing and I think there's about almost two weeks left um, and then it's done so I can get back into the swing of things and have a proper routine. Today, actually, I've got quite a few things to show you. I have my new colouring box, which you will have seen me do the little illustration of in my last video. If you haven't seen that one, you can go back and watch it. Um, this is vlog number, I want to say eight, I think. So yes, I've got quite a few things to show you today and some bits to talk about. I've got lots of orders to pack, so let's just end the waffling right bloody here and just get on with it, shall we? Actually, I do have one good thing to show you. Well, I say one good thing, so I'm going to show you other good things later anyway. Look at the cupboard. Look at the bloody cupboard. Like, <laughs> yes. I had an epiphany. Is it an epiphany? It's not really. It's not even that exciting. It's just a cupboard, isn't it? But if you have watched my first couple of vlogs, um, you'll notice that this cupboard was, I keep pointing the wrong place, was an absolute shit tip. <laughs> I was going to try and censor myself, but no. It was a mess. The whole thing was just, ugh. And I called it my Gala cupboard, and it's been the Gala cupboard. Um, if you don't watch Friends, you won't get the reference. But if you do watch Friends, you'll know that Monica has that one cupboard that she just shoves stuff in and shuts the door and hopes for the best. That was my cupboard, and I was sort of looking around. My studio's not sort of tidy yet, um, and I just thought it was an eyesore having my printers out when I don't use them all the time. So what better way to make use of this space than shove all my printers out of the bloody way? So I've been able to buy some more storage to put things in. I'm not going to show you all that there because it's just a mess behind the camera here, but I'll show you that another time. But yeah, I thought you'd be dead proud that I actually did me cupboard because I kept going, I'm so ashamed, and I was because it was just a mess. But now it's tidy, look. So up here is just some other storagey bits and like leftover things. Um, these are my two printers so this top one is going to go dark in here this one is what i print all my orders out on and this one is my sublimation printer yes they're the same printer yeah they are exactly the same printer actually <laughs> um but this one is my sublimation printer so i do this one for my coasters and things um because it has a different type of ink in but i can go over that a different day and then i've got behind this behind here behind my cricket it's just some packaging bits and bobs. And then I've got my other printer way down here, um, which is my sticker printer and my art print printer, <laughs> my Cricut, and then my heat press. So yes, I'm buzzing about that because it was doing me not in that. It was just an absolute mess. Tidy space and tidy mind and all that. And I'm not really a messy person, um, but that was just my one sort of area that I just didn't know what to do with. And... When I first moved in here in February, I just thought, you know what, just shove stuff in there, I'll deal with it another time. And then just got to the point, I think it was last week, and I just thought, you know what, I need to do something with it. So it's done. Enough waffling. My stomach's grumbling. Um, I'm just going to get on with the, wi the video, the video, and stop waffling. First of all, I need to lug some really heavy boxes up the stairs, which my knees are not going to be happy with. I've got granny knees. Um, so let's have a little bit of hydration. And then I'm going to leave the camera running so you can hear me uh, struggling up the stairs, I guess. Um, might edit this out. It depends how out of breath I sound when I fetch them up. <laughs> Gotta get the boxes. Creaky stairs, creaky knees. Seem like it's really heavy, but <laughs> oh, shit in hell. Another one. Ah. <laughs> I need another one. I already 
open this one when it arrived last week because I was just too excited to see them. Bloody hell, they're heavy. What you also haven't seen, because nobody wants to see that, is I've just brought up two big boxes of washi tape. This one doesn't look like a big bottle, well it is. And then, this one, which I'm sure I've just thrown my back out and get in. This one, oh! So, I'm gonna put it down before I carry on talking. Bloody hell. Um, I'm very unfit, um, but I, had to, I haven't got the back for it. Normally my husband brings them up. And he did ask me the other day, did we take them colouring books up for you, love? And I thought, nah, I'll do it. <laughs> we should have accepted the offer the other day. So yeah, I'm going to show you some good things now. Um, I'll have to just have a drink and catch my breath. Woo! And just to say, the summer has definitely returned here in the UK because at the minute it's really freaking hot and humid and I live in a, what's called a dollar bungalow. So it's like a bungalow. You're from the UK, you'll know what it is, um, but it has an upstairs. Yeah, if you're not from the UK, you won't have a bloody clue what a, a bungalow is. It's a house normally on one level, but this one is called a dollar bungalow because the upstairs is built into the roof. Does that make sense? Probably not. Don't know why I told you that. Let's just get on with it. I'm going to show you a colouring book. Ah! I'm so excited. So, one sec. In my, in my last vlog, I doodled up a couple of pages for this colouring book. And the response to my first one, my summer cuties, which was this one which you'll have seen me harping on about in a couple of vlogs now because I was so bloody excited and I was buzzing and I was so proud of myself at how well it turned out and how well it did I literally have I think four copies left now um that I have now carried on with my series of colouring books and we now have the spooky season book ah, look at that isn't it bloody lovely yes I am mega mega proud with this one um just like i was with the foot oh they look so cute together it's the first time i've seen them next to each other sorry anyway um yes this is coloring book number two a spooky season because i didn't just want to call it halloween because not everything here is halloweeny it's just kind of spooky or spoopy is the sort of phrase so like cute spooky um there are 20 pages again just like in the summer book um i know it's a keep looking the wrong place my phone's the wrong way um yes 20 pages again to color in and i'm gonna share the first page because in my last coloring book so this is mine that i colored in the inside page was blank i didn't know that you could have a design on here so i just left it blank um and it's the only thing that i didn't like about this because i thought oh it just looks a bit boring when it's just nothing and then color and the same on the back page there was nothing so i popped uh doc Zoo, who i get them made by it's not an ad i'm just put i just let you know because some people might want to know um and i just said can i have a design on the inside of this um not a problem so this is the front cover and then inside here is a colourful cover, inside cover, um, and it just looks so good. So it's like a continuation, and the same on the back. Um, so obviously I'm sharing some pages here, little spoilers. Um, the same on the back, it has the design, which I think just looks so much better um, having a design on there than nothing. And I wish I could redo these and have a design on them, but you know, it was my first one. I didn't have a clue. I just thought you had to leave that bit blank. So. Yes, this is a spooky season. These will be released in September in my next shop update, which I do have planned for September 3rd. I think it's the 3rd. It's a Sunday. I'm literally just waiting for a few things to turn up this week, which are some enamel pins. Um, oh, I'm getting all hot and excited now. Um, what was I saying? Brain fart. Ooh. Yes, my shop update is the 3rd of September. September on the Sunday um where I will be releasing these and just like I did with this copy I've lost my stickers now bear with me a sec I'm all over the place you'd think I'd actually prepare myself before I come and do my videos wouldn't you but I don't um because I just like to wing it you know me I keep things real 
Um, this was, as I was going to say, with this colouring book came this little pack of stickers, which I made myself at home and I honestly didn't expect my colouring books to blow up so much. I don't know if you could hear my stomach then, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this little sticker pack I made in-house in here um, and ha, ah, how many stickers did I end up making? Bloody hundreds and I think you actually saw in a diff another vlog when I was making these and they go together and it was inside a biodegradable cello bag because I don't like to pass on plastic, pass on, pass on plastic waste to my customers. So yeah, all this is all recyclable. Anyway, this is what came in with the summer coloring book, and because it took so much flipping time to make all the sticker packs, I thought oh, you need to change that this time, girl. Um, <laughs> so instead, this time I made a sticker sheet, which is so freaking cute. I didn't make these in house because I can't be dealing with me cricket like kicking off and just being a pain in my ass um trying to get these done perfectly. So I got these made with uh stickershop.co.uk. It's not an advert. I just like to share sometimes where I get things made just in case you want to get stickers done too. And I sent these off and I think they were back within 5 days. Um so this time in here instead of me having to buy more packaging which was like these um cello bags and obviously the card for the top i thought it's just easier just to have them and this time instead of covering up the front whereas in the summer one i put the sticker pack on the front inside its packaging it sort of hides the cover a bit and i don't want to do that this time around because if i stuck that today it just says spooky sea um and spooky sea color by q <laughs> so I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna share another few pages. Oh, trick or treat is the centre spread. And I'm just gonna pop the stickers just inside. And then when they go in their packaging, I'm just gonna pop a little sticker outside on the packaging, just saying free stickers included. So it's just, this is the first thing you can see. Nothing covering up. So yeah, that's spooky season colouring book. And yeah, I'm dead excited. And I hope you like it. I did share a couple of sneaky peeks there, which obviously was, in the front here we've got a skull with i love me snails so i put this worried looking snail on top of the skull here i shared the center pages which was the trick or treat and then the last page i shared was this one which is a haunted house i'm not going to share any more from inside here because that's just just going to spoil it isn't it um yes so they're out in september so i ordered a hundred coloring books and I've got enough sticker sheets for those and I was going to do a video of me drawing up the sticker sheet but I've, in all honesty I spent a lot of time on the sofa drawing um, because my health hasn't been that great the last couple of weeks so I've had some flare-ups and things where I've just been in pain and just been sitting in my pyjamas <laughs> so I did those off camera which is a shame yes it would have been nice to share it but you got to do what you got to do so here I am now anyway. <laughs> I've got lots of orders from the weekend that I need to pack up, so I'm going to get those printed now. And then I have my big boxes of washi tape to unbox, so I will do those after I've sorted through my orders. So I'll bring you along to pack a few orders with me, and then we'll have a look at the washi tape, because I'm really excited, because I've got something uh, brand new that I've never done in there as well. So that's going to be exciting to show on camera. So let's go! <laughs> So most of these orders actually are lanyard orders, so it's not going to take me much time at all to get these all done and packed up. Lanyard's obviously really popular in this time of year because people are going to college, uni, um, and obviously they want them for work and things as well. So I'm going to get these all picked. We'll get them packed and then I can show you my new washi tape. So I thought I'd actually explain a little bit about what I'm doing here. Um, I created these sort of belly bands for my lanyards, which means that I'm not just sending them in their plastic packaging because I like to recycle that with the rest of my plastic goods. So I made these belly bands and I just pop little glue dots on the end of them, just like this, and then they can just wrap around the lanyards. So 
you'll see on this little clip here, I'm taking the lanyards out of the plastic packaging. I don't like passing on any plastic waste to customers when it's my responsibility, well, I think it is anyway, for me to get rid of that myself. So the belly bands just go around the lanyards like this and they just keep them together while they're in transit. The only bit of plastic in my business that I do pass on to customers is what comes round washi tape. Um, but I think that's just a small sacrifice. I try my best to get rid of everything else and recycle and use products and packaging that can be recycled by my customers. I know some businesses have their washi tape in cardboard boxes, but the price is quite an increase um, for my normal packaging. And I don't really want to charge the earth for some washi tape when I can keep my prices low for my customers. So that's all the orders all packed up. I just need to put the address labels on. Obviously I'm not gonna show you that bit because it's got people's addresses on. Um, I am, however, gonna do a little unboxing um, of my washi tape in a moment. But while I was packing my orders, I had a super fun email come through for some sticker sheets that I am doing for my September launch. So earlier on in this vlog, I showed you the sticker sheets that I had done for my spooky coloring book which was these ones and i was super impressed by the quality um these are waterproof stickers um whereas the stickers that i make in-house which are like these ones here these aren't waterproof they are super shiny and glossy um that's not showing up at all at the moment but <laughs> they are glossy um just standard stickers whereas these are waterproof vinyl so i'd love to do vinyl ones in house but i tried a whole different bunch of papers and they just never came out how i wanted them to and they said they're waterproof and they weren't um so they just smudged and everything so it's too much faffing so i've outsourced to the same company i had these done which were sticker shop um and i had an email come through to say that my proofs were ready to approve for my sticker sheets which i will be launching which is really exciting i have done five um sets of planner stickers which are on a matte premium paper so they're easily peeled just pop them in your journal or your scrapbook or whatever um i've done five designs for those and i've done five designs of vinyl stickers which are like this one here and I'm not going to show you them on here, but they look really cute. I don't want to like ruin everything that I've got coming because it's going to be a surprise. Obviously, I can do a little teaser. I've got some... One second. I'm just... oh, I never prepared. I might have want to come on camera. I'll show you this one. So this one is a cosy autumn um, sticker set. This is going to be... Oh, I know it's printed like this because it needs to be the size that I wanted it. Um to show me how the stickers will look. So this is gonna be an A6 sticker sheet, which is the same as this one, like this. This will be glossy vinyl, and it's just lots of little cozy autumn images. Obviously the colors will look better. This is just done on my order um, printer, which is that one there. So the, the colors are quite dull. Um, so yeah, these will be waterproof stickers. So you'd have to stick these on your laptop, on your water bottle, water bottle. Um, <laughs> Everyone always takes the mickey out of the way that us northerners say a water bottle. Um, but yeah, you can stick them on your water bottle. Anyway, you want, anyway that's going to come in contact with water, it will be absolutely fine. Um, so I have four other designs for that. And one I can show you actually, because I put up on my stories the other day that my colouring books had arrived. And obviously I showed off this sticker sheet and I had quite a few people message me saying, have, uh, have you got, uh, <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, and I'm having a brain fart again. What I was trying to say is I had lots of people message me asking me if they could buy this sticker sheet separate. However, I only ordered enough to go with the colouring books because, well, I didn't think anybody would want just the sticker sheets by themselves. So instead of ordering the same one with that, because I wanted it to be just this set of designs um, in this whoop, configuration to be just for the colouring book. So I did, let's get me thing. So this is the one that comes with the colouring book and then I used a couple of these icons off here to create this one. So this is with the colouring book and this will be a sticker sheet that will just be sold separately. So it'll be again on the glossy vinyl um, paper so you can stick them anywhere you want. And it has three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 12 stickers 
on the sticker sheet one that you can buy separately this one is just spooky cuties because everything i make um i just like to have the word cuties in there because they are freaking cute do you know what i mean so yes the one that comes with the coloring book has one two three four five six seven eight stickers on it and the one that you can buy separately did i say 12 i think i said 12 so yes i've approved all those stickers i know that's sidetracking from the whole washi unboxing that i've meant to show you um but i'll show on another video me unpacking these stickers when they arrive so the turnaround's pretty quick with sticker shop um so hopefully i'll get these maybe by the end of the week which will be pretty darn exciting hello how's it going it's currently wednesday um i'm just editing the vlog from monday and realized holy crap it's nearly 40 minutes long and i don't want to bore you for 40 minutes in one video when i can split it into two and bore you senseless for two videos of 20-ish minutes each <laughs> so i'm going to end the vlog here and in the next video you'll see me unboxing some washi tape and unboxing something else which has just arrived in the post so i will end the vlog here thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed having a little sneak peek at my Halloween colouring book and the little time lapse of me order packing and whatnot and waffling on as per usual, but that's just me. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay, goodbye.